Here's a new one in a really nice looking bottle. Check this out. This is Entre Manos. This is coming out of NOM 1522 Hacienda de Oro. This is really nice. That's in the valley. This is the same guy. This is Jimmy Villa Lobo Sousa who put out Suave, a really good brand. So this is a this is 40 ABV. Okay, it's coming in a 700 mil bottle. Really cool bottle with the straw here. I, I just tried a sip of it. That was it. I really like it. It's nice. So Master Distiller is also a part owner. And this is a new brand. And it's coming out of a distillery, which is really good. They make some good products there. And I just tried it and I really, really liked it. I'm not kidding you. This is nice. It's only about $59.99. I saw it online at a bunch of places. It's got a nice, fruity, enticing nose. It's really got a nice nose. Not the most overly complicated, but it's really, really nice and welcoming. It really is. Oh, man, I like it a lot. I really do. This is low-pressure autoclave, okay? It's steam-cooked, and then they lock the autoclave doors closed. And Jimmy was telling me that's to bring out more complexity and uh, aromatic notes, okay? So it seems to work for this. I have to say, it's roller macerated. It's open air, spontaneous fermentation. That means they don't add any actual yeast into the fermentation tanks. It's all from the environment in the unique Matitan area of the valley, okay? And whatever particles are flying around in the distillery as well, it's all nice. It's just natural yeast fermentation, okay? So that's how they do that. They do double distillation in all stainless steel. They do some chill filtration uh, and for the cellulose they use that for filtering so to keep out the fatty oils and deep well water and no additive okay so let's check this bad boy out the taste is nice to me it's fruity it's just like the nose which was a little bit herbal got that nice sweet cooked agave and freshness had a nice mint to it, some cinnamon, some minerals for sure, not a doubt about it, coming up from that well water. And it's got like an orange, lemon, zest kind of citrus. And it's the same on the taste, I have to tell you. It's earthy. It's got the mint and anise. It's got cinnamon and spice. It's got the citrus for sure, sweet cooked agave. I really like this, some cinnamon. There's nothing I can find wrong with this. This is a really solid brand. It's easy to drink. They're not planning to make a reposado or an añejo, Jimmy tells me, but they may come out with an XA in three or four years. So you know what, on TMM, I, I'm going to go with like an 87 for something like this. I really like it. I think it's uh, light and tasty, easy to drink. Anyone's going to like this. I really believe that. And for what, 60 bucks? Today's prices, that's a pretty good deal. I could drink this all day long, and I'm not kidding you. This is nice. I wish them luck. Entre manos. Lou Agave, Long Island Lou Tequila.